Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today I thought we would look at all the empties, all the products I used up this year. Uh, I think I've got them all. I never really know. I think I did a fairly good job of keeping them in at least two spots throughout this entire year. Um, I like doing this. I did this last year and showed all the products that I was able to use up. It's kind of eye-opening and a really good reminder for me that based on how much I can actually use up, I don't really need to purchase as much as I've been purchasing. So it's really, really helpful for me to see everything that I've gone through and used. So this year for sketchbooks, I've only filled two. Um, I say it like that because in other years I've kind of gone through a sketchbook a month, a sketchbook, a drawing challenge, and those were very different. These have 365 pages in them. These are Stology 365s. I have used them one-sided uh, because of bleeding and ghosting. The paper is thin, so if you're going to try a challenge and you want to do this, where you're doing, like, fill in the same sketchbook using the same paper every single day for a year and you want to try and use these Stologies. Again, I have the Midori A5 covers on here just to keep them a little bit more protected because I really do beat up my products a little bit. My desk is kind of always in use. Um, get some sort of sheet page protector. This isn't the A5 size, this is more the traveler size, but because the paper is thin, it's very, very helpful to have a product like this. So these are my sketchbooks I used up. Now, I've mentioned this before in several videos that I really like pen and ink with the Stology. <clears throat> you are going to see proof of that. Um, in a typical year, okay, gosh, I don't even know how to say this. There is no typical year. Every year I want to try something new. I want to push what I am capable of. I want to experiment. I want to constantly challenge myself. So the challenge for this year really was can I draw on the same paper every single day for an entire year? Answer, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can, but it's going to be a lot of pen and ink. Like a lot of pen and ink, you ready? So this is the Pentel brush pen. Um, <laughs> again, this was probably my favorite pen for this paper. These are all the refills. Um, some of these belong to the fine liner one and some of these belong, I believe, to the, the medium brush size. Now I still have one, but it has a pink insert in it and the pink is still full. <clears throat> pink is very specialized. <laughs> so these are all empty. And in previous years, I haven't hardly used a Pentel brush pen. Again, the product I use is really dependent on the paper I'm using. So because I really love pen and ink, I really went through the pen and ink. Next year will not look like this. My empties probably will not be so much of ink. Like this is really, really ink heavy. Um, here is the Uniball Signo in silver. Uh, I buy these in three packs for a very specific reason. These are very high flow, high release. It is very easy for me to go through these. I had empties of these last year. Um, I could link the empties video, put that on top of my videos in the description box if you really want to compare. Um, I only have, I believe, one gold left and it's almost empty. I have so many almost empties, but these are the ones that I've actually used up. I used up one jelly roll for white ink for highlights amongst all the black. Um, it wasn't incredibly successful on top of this. This is very water soluble. And when you add ink to this one, it tends to smear and smudge. So this I kind of used on top of other products. Uh, I went through two microns, both 05. This dark green, I believe it's called Hunter. It's really a pretty green if you're into jewel tones and shades. Uh, for journaling and I'm going to include product used up for journaling just because I do journaling for mental health and my mental health directly affects my art. Uh, <laughs> here is the Pilot G2 pen. I used up four of them. 
Now, I don't really know where the components went for some of these. I think I filled them with other ones. Some of these are in bad shape and pop apart because they're really old. So I've used the components <laughs> for other ink ones. Um, yeah, I just have pieces floating around. So I used up four and this is what they look like used up. There's still like a little, this is part of the plastic part in there, but they're all gone. So I definitely journal every day and write every day. That's what that looks like. If you're wondering like how much ink you need for a product. Um, I go through about one pencil a year. This is a black wing. I pulled the bottom off just because I can attach him to another pencil for support, but he is almost done. In terms of colored pencils, I did colored pencil for the entire month of October. <laughs> I have a lot of littles. I have a lot of littles. So purple, indigo, pine, sepia. Um, these still have one to three more uses depending on the illustration, how big it is and how much I need. And then again, like I went through my black really heavily this year. So this could be just one illustration and be gone. So these definitely need to be reordered. <clears throat> In terms of repurchasing for next year, I will be buying more Hunter Green Micron, more Green Pilot, um, more silver in a three pack and maybe just one double pack of the black. Again, I don't typically go through this much brush pen ink. It's just because of this paper. So this is what empties look like in a year. It's not incredibly significant. Oh, here's another one. This is, <laughs> and he's not empty. This is gouache. This is Holbein's Artist Gouache in permanent white I've had this since 2018. I have been using this on top of this product. This product is very water soluble again. So putting using gouache as a highlight with a detail brush is great, except mine is so old. Again, they don't even make this label anymore, I don't think. Um, it's like, it's hard as a rock. It's completely done. So I need a new one of these as well. This is, Filling an A5 every day for a year, this is how much product I could go through. Um, a lot of these were kind of half gone anyway from the previous year, so it's not like I used them all up in one year. The black is probably the most significant one I used up this year. This is what a year's worth looks like. This is what I mean when I say doing like a low buy and understanding how much product you actually need how much product you actually use. If you don't fill up a page a day, or if you work really, really large, you could go through way more product than this. Things like charcoal or pastel, I mean, you could really, really go through those and then you don't really have any empties <laughs> to show. Um, a fun thing to do is before you start a huge illustration, if you're doing charcoal, is just to take like a note piece of paper and trace around how much charcoal you have that you're using. And then you can line it up compared to what you have to what you have left. And then you can see how much product you use. That gives you a really good indication of how much you really need to buy, how much you need to own for future commissions, products, ideas, and just general sketches, how much stuff you actually need. It's not, it's not a lot. I mean, maybe this looks like a lot. Um, in previous years, I've had about 12 filled sketchbooks. So this was definitely a challenge to try and see um, if I could really condense a year into something tight and clean like this. Um, I probably will never do it like this ever again. Like this was a fun challenge. I only wanted to do it once. <laughs> I learned, I learned a lot. Uh, I learned so much. I learned that I should probably have paper that allows for wet and dry media equally. Um, like drawing on a 100% cotton paper, a thinner paper, just because half the products I own are watercolor. And as you can see, I didn't use up any watercolor. I hardly watercolored at all this year. Um, it just doesn't have the desired blending effects that I care for on this page. So these are my empties. This is what a year looks like. 
Again, I will link what pre the previous year's empties look like. It was pretty different. There were some of these. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's gonna vary. I don't imagine the pilot thing changing just because I really like journaling every day. It's just very therapeutic. Um, as far as, thank you. Thank you for following along. Thank you for hanging out. <laughs> Voila, clean desk. So every year I put together just like a year in a view sort of calendar. Um, I take one of my illustrations and do that. So for, I've been doing this since 2018. So this is 2024's calendar. Um, it's pretty ink light. Uh, if you only have black ink, you're in luck this year. Uh, hope you like birds, hope you like owls. I will link this in the description box. Um, it is through a, it's a PDF. There's a PDF hosting website. You just click on the little link, the gray link, and you can download this and print this and then have this. Um, this is just my way of saying thank you. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for following along. Thank you for checking out everything I'm doing and what I'm up to and if you're getting anything out of the low buys or some of the tutorials, just like thanks for hanging out with me and listening to me ramble and try and <laughs> uneloquently put into words my thoughts, feelings, and what it looks like trying to do all these different art things that I'm always trying to figure out for myself. Um, I always hope that my videos help and inspire and this is just a little something I can do to give to you. Just like, thank you. Just thanks. Just thanks for being awesome. Thanks for, you know, hanging out, commenting, subscribing, doing all the stuff, um, following me around on different social networking things. It's a lot of fun to see your art. I don't always have time to comment on everything. I wish I did. I wish I had more time. <laughs> But know that I see you and I appreciate you so much. And I want so much for you to have a great 2024. And I hope it's full of art and maybe a couple birds and joy and creating and stuff like that. So thanks. <laughs> thanks. And I hope you enjoy this calendar. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day and I will talk to you later. Bye.